as such let's bring this piece back and then uh, I need to put this screw into it uh, where's my screwdriver I don't know I think it's playing hide and seek with me okay there yeah, it is mm, perhaps I'm the one playing hide and seek with it okay so tie this in place all right and then is this the other kind of screw is this for here hope it is is it let me just compare with this all right yeah it's the one the one is much longer than it but similar to what's on the plastic so close this i think this is just a aesthetics cosmetic feel that I noticed when I was putting this back and something didn't look right. Okay, bring that inside there. Then bring this other screw right <laughs> Again, I forget the switch. <laughs> okay, that's hilarious. The basically the thing that presses the switch anyway. Okay. So this comes into play. Where's that screw of ours? And there. Yeah, so you can imagine how long it takes to fix an electric kettle. And yet, uh, there's a tendency of the owners not willing to pay as much. That's why I tend to prefer to work on laptops and smartphones because the time I've spent here, I would be done with the phone's charging system, perhaps four of them. Anyway, that was just a digression. So this is fine. Mm, I'm just going to put some water and then test its ability to automatically go off. I don't know whether I should show that on camera. Should I? Okay. I've been told it may not be necessary. At least I proved to you using the multimeter that uh, the circuit is closed like it's a loop power goes comes back and you hear a beep meaning it's functional and when i do that i'm able to break so to close the circuit and break the circuit close break the circuit yeah. closing a circuit means turning on breaking a circuit means yeah closing a circuit means turning on breaking a circuit means turning on yeah, I think 